just like to do a little quick video on this uh, Y&H inverter that I bought off of uh, Walmart for about 250 bucks in change. Uh, so what it does is it takes this battery. I got two 12 volt deep cycle marine batteries and uh, they're connected in series. So here's the minus, here's a plus. The plus goes to the minus. The minus uh, comes out the plus, so that gives me 24 volts. Uh, I have a little battery switch here, battery disconnect that opens the circuit. The circuit comes down to a fuse, uh, a little fuse holder, and then that goes uh, in with this red wire right here up to uh, the inverter itself. The black wire goes through a shunt, and then here's a cheap little battery monitor that monitors uh, the battery voltage and current through the system. Now the voltage here says it's 12 volts. I'm just monitoring this uh, single battery, and then it monitors the current draw through uh, the current through one battery is the same as both batteries since they're connected in series. And uh, so the output of the inverter, so this takes the DC input and it converts the DC into uh, an AC output that is usable by the system. So the AC output comes out here and I just have it wired to a uh, duplex outlet. So in this duplex outlet, I have a couple of things plugged in. One is the freezer. The other is this light here. So you can see uh, this LED light. When I turn it on, you can actually watch the current through the battery monitor change. So now, right at this moment, I'm drawing uh, 860 milliamps, and then when I shut it off, you can see that the milliamps uh, drops almost to nothing. Just the system itself is uh, what's drawing uh, energy right now. So for demonstration purposes, I have this little DeWalt jigsaw, and the jigsaw, I can plug it in over into my outlet right here take out the light plug in the jigsaw and when I run the jigsaw here you'll be able to watch the current go through the system So the inverter, you can hear a little fan turned on. It's again, it's outputting here. And you can see the output's 120 volts AC. It says 119 AC. All that energy was coming from the batteries. So the batteries are my energy storage. The batteries are DC input into my inverter. The inverter system creates uh, AC voltage from a DC voltage input. And uh, again, the DC is coming from the batteries. And it's also coming from my solar panels. So this is just regular uh, 12 gauge, 120 amp, 20 volt, sorry, 120 volt, uh, 20 amp uh, Romex. And I've got the solar panels sitting out here temporarily and those are two uh Renogy 100 watt each solar panels they're connected in series so they put out 24 volts and uh, about eight amps so again 100 watt um for each panel that wire comes in here 
And so in addition to supplying energy from the panels to the output, this unit can supply um, energy from the solar panels and it can charge up the batteries as well. So uh, that's it. So this is a three kilovolt amp unit. Uh, you can think of it as a three kilowatt unit. And uh, again, its DC input is 24 volts. Can take up to 110 amps. The AC output is 120 volts, uh, 60 cycle. Uh, this unit can also be programmed for Euro European use at uh, 50 hertz.